Hi friends, in this video, we will learn about SIM 900A GSM module. Here is the SIM 900A modem. This modem works on the AT commands. These AT commands are basically fed through UART protocol in other words, serial data. The serial data can be communicated from the DV9 female connector. We can also use these types of connectors which follows RS-232 standard to connect the module directly with the computer. But certain controllers or processors might not follow this standard, so we can use Arduino to communicate. The Arduino and the SIM 900A both follows 5 volt TTL level. Here is the TTL interface of the board. You can connect Arduino and SIM 900A using this schematic. Connect RX and TX, TX to RX, ground to ground of your controller. V in pin must be provided. 7 to 12 volts with common ground. You can also use adapter of 12 volts and minimum of 2 ampere current ratings. Please note the current rating in the adapter which you use is if you use an adapter less than 2 ampere then the GSM module may not function properly. Reason being is the GSM module during communication mode draws a lot of current. This current varies with network strength. So to be in safer zone please use a high ampere adapter preferably 2 ampere. Next here there are three indicator LEDs on board. Network LED, status LED and power LED. The power LED will on when the module is on. The status LED should also be on. If the status LED is toggling, then it means that the current is not enough for the GSM module. Make sure to use a good quality 12V and 2A adapter. The network LED will keep toggling fast while searching network. When the toggling rate becomes low means the SIM is successfully registered. If these indicators are working accordingly means GSM module is in the working condition. Whenever you power on the module, the module takes some time to register itself to the network. It may take 10 to 15 seconds. Always send the AT command after the network registration. You can also connect microphone and speaker using these pins. Here is the SIM slot. Make sure to use only 2G SIM card. The 3G and the 4G SIM card will not work on the module. In my next video, you will get to learn how this device works further. If you have any queries, then kindly comment or ask. And please don't forget to like and share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye friends, we will meet soon again.